My name is Peter Thompson, and I'm a postdoctoral scholar at the University of California, San Francisco Diabetes Center, uh, working in the lab of Dr. Neil Bouchon. Type 1 diabetes is among the most common chronic diseases of early childhood in the world. And the numbers are on the rise, and we still really don't know why, um, even though it's been uh, just about 100 years since insulin was discovered, and we uh, can figure out how it works in the body. Um, but uh, we still don't have a cure for type 1 diabetes. We understand that uh, type 1 diabetes results from the destruction of these, be these beta cells in our body. These are the cells that make insulin. And one of the focuses of the lab has been on identifying these early events that um, may be a trigger or may um, occur during the early progression towards diabetes. And what we recently found is that uh, a known growth promoting pathway called the mTOR1 pathway is reactivated in a subset of uh, these beta cells prior to and during the progression towards type 1 diabetes uh, in our mouse models. Uh, the pathway is known to promote the growth of, of these cells in other contexts, but uh, for reasons that are right now quite unclear, um, this pathway turns back on in a subset of cells but isn't able to counterbalance uh, the level of loss that occurs in diabetes. So the idea then is that if we could manipulate and fine tune the signaling pathway with small molecule therapy, uh, we could promote the new growth of beta cells in the body to replace those that are lost in diabetes. Um, this is really exciting because it would allow a person who has diabetes to make enough insulin on their own so that they wouldn't uh, need to have injections. And uh, also, it might be even able to uh, prevent the onset of diabetes in the early stages. Well, I think this project is, is really exciting. It's, it's innovative. Um, we have some really exciting preliminary results, as I mentioned, that are quite novel. Uh, no one has really looked at this um, in, in this level before at this, at this uh, stage. Um, and, and this approach could really open up a whole new avenue to um, treating, but also really preventing diabetes. And it may also be especially helpful for preventing diabetes in young children. Um, where uh, we have some, some, also some preliminary evidence that this pathway may be more sensitive um, at early stages of our, our development, and it may be more amenable to interventions at that point as well. Um, so overall, I think that we're really on the verge of something quite exciting here. Research is not just a job. Um, I, I do believe that it is my calling in life. Uh, and this project is really just the beginning. Um, this is the start of, of something really exciting. Um, as a researcher, I, I really want to be a part of, of healing and renewal in the world. I want to leave a lasting legacy for my kids. And yeah, one of the ways I get to do that is by working with many others who are working towards a cure for uh, diabetes. Um, so I would say that if that resonates with you and that that's your vision too, then um, I just invite you to join with us and we can work together towards a cure for type 1 diabetes.